modern warfare is dominated by technology. Never more so than with a combat helicopter. Today's machines are lethal, agile, and survivable. Put that together with new digital technology, and you have the ultimate weapon that will revolutionize how battles are fought. After the Second World War, a new tool became available to commanders on the battlefield, the helicopter. It was now possible to move troops and their equipment rapidly across the combat zone. Helicopters didn't need airfields because they could take off and land from a space the size of a tennis court and they could operate over any terrain. Natural barriers like rivers, jungles and deserts were no obstacles to these machines. The Americans used helicopters in the Korean War to evacuate wounded troops to field hospitals, helicopters that were made famous in the television series MASH. And because of the short journey times, many lives were saved that otherwise would have been lost. But it was during the Vietnam War that the helicopter really made its mark. Instead of marching to the battlefront, troops were flown in along with their equipment and ammunition. At first, they were simply troop carriers, but soon they became a lethal attack weapon. Not only could they protect the troops and other helicopters, they could also unleash deadly force against the enemy on the ground. Helicopters had changed battle tactics forever. Today, the helicopter is moving into a new era that of the digital battlefield. Using digital technology, commanders will be able to know the exact position of their troops, aircraft, and weapons, as well as the enemy's position at any given moment in time. They will also be able to send this information instantly to their troops on the ground and in the sky, using one gigantic military internet. Hey, did you guys uh, pick up that grid? This digital battlefield is seen as the most important advance in warfare since the helicopter itself. Leading the charge into the digital age is the deadliest helicopter ever built, the Apache Longbow. It is the Supreme Attack Helicopter, and the first to be wired for the digital battlefield. Using sophisticated radar, it can detect and attack multiple targets using its 30mm cannon, rockets, and precision-guided Hellfire missiles. is the number one killing machine and the number one flying machine for pilots. This is the most ultimate machine to fly. This is like flying a Ferrari. The Apache aircraft uh, was designed to be a heavy attack platform for the Army, so it provides not only a heavy attack type of, of capability, but it provides close air support as well as armed escort for other aircraft. The Apache is designed for combat both during the day and at night, and has seen action in Panama, Somalia, Bosnia, and both Gulf Wars.
Its lethal record in combat is matched by its name. Army aircraft uh, are typically named after Indian tribes within the United States, and the, the Apache aircraft was named after the, the Apache tribe, which were fierce warriors uh, during the early times of, of the uh, United States. So it just was fitting to name this aircraft after the Apache tribe because we were looking to make a very fierce fighting uh, weapons platform. One reason the Apache Longbow is so effective as an attack helicopter is that different detection and information processing technologies have been integrated into a single aircraft. On the nose of the aircraft are sensors that identify and track targets day and night using high-resolution television, infrared, and lasers. The information from the sensors is displayed in the pilot's eyepiece on the helmet, which is linked to the gun. So wherever the pilot looks, the gun points as well. On top of the Apache is the longbow radar pod, which is used to locate and track targets using a technique called unmasking. The helicopter hides behind cover, then appears above the tree line to allow the radar to detect the enemy before dropping out of sight again. What Longbow does on the Apache aircraft is it's that fire control radar. It's that ability to, in a matter of seconds, to detect, classify, and prioritize targets and then download that data to be displayed in front of the pilot as well as downloading that information into the RF missile. The Apache Longbow is the first in-service helicopter upgraded for the digital battlefield. Missions are planned on computers and then transferred into the aircraft. In this way, the pilots can load all the data and navigation information for the mission instantly and without error. There's no way to overemphasize what digitization will mean to the battlefield because in the past, you typically saw the, the enemy, you engaged the enemy. Now you're able to quickly determine where the enemy is, where the friendlies are, and in a matter of seconds engage them with any weapon system on the battlefield. Because the longbow is digital, many of its systems can easily be replicated in a simulator. This means that pilots can be trained on a device that simulates real missions without ever putting aircraft or pilots at risk. At Fort Rucker, Alabama, the U.S. Army is training Longbow Apache helicopter pilots on four state-of-the-art simulators. A bit like giant video games, they digitally replicate the exact flight profile and handling of the helicopter. It is, in fact, a uh, one huge video game. It's also a very expensive video game, and it, it's very real also. Obviously, what we do is very real. So it's a uh, huge benefit for us to have this trainer so that we can train them up and have them ready to fight. The new trainees have the ability to come in here. They learn how to start the aircraft. They learn to familiarize themselves with the cockpits, then can fly the aircraft, get a little experience uh, actually flying the machine, and can actually work with their stick button. All right, you ready? I'm going to have Brent right to the left and stay on it. On real missions, pilots must not only look out for the enemy, but also other Apaches. This system can even link the simulators together. There's an old joke about simulators where you have to watch out for the other simulators. Well, in here it's real. These simulators can be linked up together and you can actually look out left and right at the other simulated aircraft. Well, the Longbow Crew Trainer uh, allows us to simulate the digital battlefield. In here we can simulate almost everything, so it's essential uh, to the future. The simulator can recreate most battlefield scenarios, but when pilots are out on real missions, it's real bullets being fired at them. 